Did you know that coffee is the second most traded commodity on earth right after oil? That's how much the world loves this magical brew. From the bustling streets of New York to the quaint cafes of Paris, coffee is a universal language of comfort and connection. It's enjoyed in countless ways, each with its own unique charm. A special mention goes to latte art, a blend of creativity and coffee that is as delightful to look at as it is to sip. One such delightful way to enjoy coffee is through latte art, which combines the rich taste of coffee with the aesthetic appeal of art. A latte art as we know it today has a surprisingly recent history. Born in the romantic heartland of Italy, this delightful craft was initially a novel way to serve cappuccinos with a little extra love. As coffee culture began to percolate across the globe, so too did the art of making these frothy masterpieces. The United States caught the latte art bug in the 80s and 90s. It was during this time that the role of the barista transformed from a simple coffee preparer to a skilled artisan. They were no longer just making your morning brew, they were crafting an experience, telling a story in each cup. The art quickly spread worldwide, fueled by the rise of coffee culture and the desire for a personalized touch in every cup. From a simple heart shape to intricate designs, latte art has truly become a form of expression for baristas worldwide. Scene script. Fancy making your own latte art? It's not as hard as you might think. Let's start by exploring the tools you'll need to let your inner barista shine. The first piece of equipment you'll need is an espresso machine equipped with a steam wand. This will allow you to create the frothy, creamy milk that is the canvas for your art. Additionally, you'll need a metal pitcher. The pitcher spout is what you'll use to pour your designs, so be sure to choose one that feels comfortable in your hand. Now let's talk techniques. There are two main ones to consider, free pouring and etching. Free pouring is when you create shapes and designs by simply pouring the milk directly from the pitcher into the coffee. This technique is all about the angle, speed, and position of your pour. On the other hand, etching is when you use a tool to draw designs on the surface of the foam after you've poured your milk. If you're a beginner, don't stress. Start with simple designs like a heart or a leaf. These shapes are perfect for practicing your pour and getting the feel for how the milk moves. Remember, latte art is a craft. And like any craft, it takes time and patience to master. So don't get discouraged if your first few attempts don't look like what you see in coffee shops. Remember, practice makes perfect in latte art. So brew your favorite coffee, pour with passion, and let your creativity flow in the foam.